forward to a sure. toast to life. A toast to life. Another episode. Tune in. <sighs> Gotta love Terry Monica. are back another toast to live podcast episode if you haven't go subscribe and we're gonna start this off pretty good because we have the one and only aubrey johnson in the house yeah hey, hey, hey. Let's get so it. just to loosen up a little bit really quick a little Cheers. toast bam that was just water for anybody asking just water jesus christ that's actually water. Milligram, like, 500 of caffeine I've had today, but caffeine queen. <laughs> uh, so, let's start off. How old are you? A little background on you. This. I am 22. Sorry. No, I'm 23. I'm 23. 23. <laughs> I keep thinking I'm There we go. I just 20... turned 23 in September. So, a little background for people watching and tuning in finally. So, Aubrey has her own Instagram slash podcast slash... Man, you're yeah. active. You're you're pretty. active in the social media part. You have your own podcast, which is shout out your. So my podcast, it damn, I got nervous. <laughs> Be nervous on somebody else's podcast. Um, podcast name blanked out. Blinked out. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> it it's different when you're on camera now. It is for so because you're used to just doing audio. Yeah. You do audio. You record in your room. Yeah, I recorded in my room. My first podcast was, or my first episode, well, let me just say my, my yes, podcast. Yes, <laughs> please, please do so we can. Uh, so my podcast is Against All Odds Podcast. Damn, how did that come yeah. about? Um, so uh, I had so many names for my podcast. Sorry. That's so, so many names. Um, but my friend, his podcast is Authentic by Odds. So mm. that kind of, uh, I'm sorry, not his podcast. His page is Authentic by Odds. So that definitely kind of like stemmed that idea. Yeah. And he was also the one that like pushed me and motivated me to just fucking like go for it with this podcast. Cause we can't cuss on the podcast. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking kidding. Like, Stop. <laughs> no, no I'm kidding. I, I was like, I don't know if we could do this because I cuss a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so he kind of just like was like, dude, just fucking do it already. Like yeah. you've been talking about it. And I have been talking about, you know, doing my podcast for years now. And um, so his was Authentic by Odds. And I was like, fuck, okay, I like that a lot. So yeah. I came up with um, Against All Odds. And, um, I mean, it, it says it, you know, it says it, it says, itself. It's, it's in the and, name. So th the reason why I just want to ask is because when we come up with the name again, we're in my podcast and it was the same thing. I was like, fuck back and forth. What sound, what's a attention getter? What sounds catchy? What really means something? And I was like, man, and literally I have a, a little book and yeah, just like one page, but out of that one page, I think there's like 25 different lines. <laughs> Boom, they were just all filled out, second row filled out. And I'm like, I'm going to come back to, to this tomorrow and I'm going to check off which one I like. And it took literally maybe like two days after that, boom, created it. Well, created the name. Next day, all right, if I don't do this now, I won't do it. So I created a YouTube page. All right, it's there now. Okay, good. You're like, now what? <laughs> now what? So it was just, I mean, I always say like the first episode we did that I did is just cringy. Just, it's just me. It was just me being vulnerable, me giving a background how this is all going to go. And I said, all right, now I need to make episode two. Episode two happened. I was like, all right, episode two happened. Episode three now. And to me, in my head, I was like, all right, people are going to see this. They're going to see episode one and two, and they're going to be like, that's it. He's not going to do it no more. He's not going to continue. I said, fuck that. We're back. It's so good to hear that because I feel the same. I Like, that's what... That's exactly what happened with me. I recorded my first one. I woke up one morning and I was like, I'm going to run six miles today. And during my six miles, I'm going to record the fucking podcast. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Wait, like, how'd you run six miles? Are you a runner? I know. I'm not. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. So I was like in my friend's like um, 
what is like the apartment complex thing. Yeah. And it's just like um just like a corridor and I was like, I'm just gonna run six miles here and yeah. like I'm gonna download an app. So I downloaded I think you use it, you said um I forget the what, name of it. Anchors. Anchor, yeah. I like researched for like 10 minutes on Google. I was like, Hey, where can I record my podcast? You know? Yeah. And so I was like, I'm going to do my miles. And I think I was on mile four and I was like, all right, let's press play. So I press played, I pressed play and I was like crying the first two minutes of the podcast. And I was like, yeah, I can't do this. Like <laughs> podcasting is not for me. What, what made you cry though? Like um, what, just what, what part? And I, I have yet to listen back to it completely because I was crying. It was you like don't listen to your own podcast? I do. I do. Yeah, I always. don't. No. I don't. No. What? I do. I have to. I'll listen to like certain parts and like the videos that I that I cut up and I put out there. But for the most part. You're just like, let's go. No. Let's do it. Because <laughs> it literally took me one. I think it was until we got to Fontana. So this is already like episode 20 something that I found Anchor. Oh, shoot. Okay. So you Be- were just recording. Before on- that was just on YouTube. Oh, gotcha. I was just putting it out on YouTube, and then people were asking me and asking me. I'm like, oh, no, it's too hard, bro. I'll figure that out later. No, no, no. Putting it off, just putting it off. Making excuses? Making excuses. Making excuses into, that really are not. No, because literally all not I even barriers, all I, just making them up. I just had to just download the audio. I made the account, put it up, and bam, I started posting it. And people were like, bro, I listened to that. And believe it or to my knowledge, more people listen to it right away on those platforms than on YouTube. Because mm-hmm. it's you, more accessible. It's easily accessible. YouTube is hard, bro. YouTube is hard because you got to find out what day and time you're going to publish mm-hmm. it. You need to figure out the title to it. You need to figure out uh, tags. You need to figure out sceneries. Because mm-hmm. it has to look appealing to the eye or else people are going to like skip through. Like. Yes. <laughs> so, I mean, like yourself, you said earlier, like you're going to go and listen to other podcasts. Like I listen to other podcasts. I watch other mm-hmm. podcasts because the way we are, it's we're going to what's appealing to the eye, what's appealing to the ear, like what's your attention getter, what what message comes out of there. I listen to my the biggest one that I listen to is I Am Athlete. Shout out to those guys, because without that podcast, I literally, I don't think I would be here. I gotta tune into that. I think my, what, like, you know, you have your podcast, that, like, that's what got, like, stemmed your, yeah. you know, you wanted to do your podcast. For me, it was Trent Shelton. Oh, you know, yes, yes, yeah. yes. So yes, he's yes. more of, like, a preacher type, and I was like, damn, I could never. Yeah. But then I, like, would listen to his old, like, way, way when he first started, and yeah. he sounds like, just like me, you know? Like, he's nervous, and he doesn't even know what he wants to say, but... That's where I was like, man, if he can do it, I mean, now he's talking in front of huge stages. So you know? since you're, how how long do you have right now in your podcast? I'm going on episode three. Episode I, three. I released it on my birthday, September 27th. So there's, believe it or not, there's a lot of people that ask about uh, how to start a podcast. People want, I want to start a podcast. I know this. I know. So what, what brought you into it? What said, fuck it, just do it? What are like two or three things that take in consideration to do the podcast? I feel like, well... The first time it like stemmed, the first time I was like, I want to do a podcast was yeah. because I was very active on social media, like, super, super active. And I was always talking on social media. And so I was like, man, people actually listen to me on Instagram. But people like they'll click like three slides and they're like, all right, I'm done hearing this girl. She's annoying, you know. Yeah. And so that was me. I was always, always constantly posting. And so I visited my friend's studio and I was like, he came. He was like, come look at it. We recorded your first podcast here. That was three years ago. And I was like, mm, no. We're not doing this. Three years you know? ago. Yeah. It, that's when like, the idea stemmed. And I was oh, like, man. I want to make a difference. You if know? you would have started back then, I think Where would I you would have had a huge head start. Because they say it during uh, the whole season because of certain guidelines. I will not even say the fucking name. But that's when a lot of podcasts popped out because mm-hmm. everybody was at home. They didn't have nobody else to talk to. This, so I'm going to talk to myself. I'm going to talk to myself. I have people over. Might as well just fucking cut the shit and just talk mm-hmm. and i mean to us like i see other young youngers that do podcasts and they're popping and they're following but to me it's like all right what's your where are you going like what's, what's your angle right? what's your or angle what's your goal yeah i feel like for me it's just like i could write a book mm. like i have i have i've been through a lot like i've and i'm still currently going through so much so i feel like I want to put my story somewhere, you know, and I know I for sure, like I even last week I was like, maybe I should just start in my notes, you know, and like yeah. start like a memoir, or, like just start something. Yeah. And so I would definitely like to write a book one day, 
but that's a whole other, you know, <laughs> that's a whole other, that's a whole other, possible. like, it, yeah, of course it just, I mean, my podcast, I could sit here and just start recording, you know, the yeah. book is like, that's going to be published. That's going to be forever, you know? So yeah. I just feel like I've been through so much and I give lots of advice that I should probably take for myself, but mm. I just, from experiences that I've just, you know, gone through, I feel like I needed to share that with the world and just like, let me like help you. And a big thing with me is like, when I help other people, I feel good about myself. So that's kind of my way of like yeah. feeling better is like making sure that people around me are good, which is like a good and bad thing, I guess, because I have, you know, I make sure other people are good before myself, but that's what uplifts me, making what, sure like everybody else is good. What is uh, uh, one big advice that you give others that you don't even listen to or you struggle with? Probably. And it sounds so cliche, but like that it gets better. I, I like. I feel like it's that's very cliche, and when when you're going through, and I feel like people tell me that, and I'm like, man, shut up. No, it doesn't because it's not better. You know, it's not getting better. Yeah. And there is some things that like, man, it's not gonna get better. You know, you're gonna live with that. Whatever, whether it be like trauma, whether it be like heartbreak, like you are gonna, you know, maybe live on with that. But it's like, I feel like that's one thing is like it gets better. You know, like I feel like we often think that like one little thing like ends. You know, that this is like my ending point, and it's yeah. like. Come on, like dig deep into that brain. You know, like in the back of your head, you know it gets better. You know, there, like you know things are going to get better eventually. It's just so hard, bro. Mm -hmm. It. I'm glad that we finally got this going on, me and you, because I follow your, obviously I follow your page. I look at your all your posts. I look at what you do. I started listening to your podcast. I was like, all right, this person, we can attack this topic because I feel like we can both relate to it. Mm -hmm. And it shameless plug to your podcast like against all odds we're not supposed to be here this to me wasn't taught to me social media podcasting just doing what we do wasn't it wasn't in a book for me mm -hmm. to read it wasn't people around me didn't teach me this they didn't they didn't see none of it and I'm i sure didn't your see family's none of it. like what is that because i know i try to explain to my mom like what a podcast is and she, what a podcast is and she's like ¿Qué es eso? you know oh, like she's my mom my mom <laughs> sees the, the drinking side she says oh okay well what are you what are you doing oh why are you drinking though i'm just like ah, like all right for like you're drinking then what <laughs> yeah so i mean like i was just telling the other person right now a little while ago it's like the drinking part yeah it's fun we all do it but if for the ones watching, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, you know, tune in. You better. You better. I'm going to look for you anyway. <laughs> and I see you in my story views. <laughs> bro, bro, that's another topic. So we'll get right into that. But, uh, okay, so, big supporters. Yeah. So, but like how I told her is this for a lot of people, think about this. When you're drunk, you start, you start talking about deep, like dark stuff, things that you never talk about. And it's just like, it's not that this is uh, alcohol, like we're going to just do this and fuck around. It's like, no, let's get to what's really bothering the us. The root of all our trauma, mm -hmm. our motivation, you know, a lot of people do not want to come out of that shell. It's so hard. And the reason specifically is because us as guys, you know, shout out mental health awareness for men. Sure. Um we and I just I read this and I heard this the, the other day. It's like eighty three percent of the suicides is men. They're men, yeah. And men deal with a lot of shit because we act like we're the only ones that have to bring the bread, the only ones that have to carry the family, the only ones to deal with everything, everything. And at the end of the day, we're the only ones that, majority wise, that will do it. But it's, it's just not like, like a norm for y'all to like shut down. It's not a norm for us to even talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's not even, like, why are you sad? Like I you ain't guys sad, aren't homie. allowed to, yeah. Yeah, like, I ain't sad, homie. Don't worry about it. I'm good. And I think that's what sucks is that, like, you have to, I mean, there is those good group friends, you know, this group of guys that, like, and, like, hey, what's, you know, what's actually wrong with you? But yeah. it's, like, there's other ones where, you know, you're heartbroken because guys go through heartbreak, too. You know, they think it's just girls. So it's, like, gotcha. you're, like, you're heartbroken and then, you know, your guys are, like, man, fuck that bitch. Let's just go drink. Or, you know, it's, like, bro, no, I want to talk. That's I want to talk about my feelings. Jose, Dylan, <laughs> right? We've been there. We've been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it, it no. sucks that, i mean with even i mean yes men, like obviously men too but it, i feel like for everybody we like we're so scared to just say like hey no i don't want to go drink tonight like you know i want to i want to talk about my feelings I like i'm going through gym. some real life shit i want to be in the gym that's and me. i want to work that's me you know what a lot of people don't understand like now that they're back you know they went on a little trip but they're back um 
is when I went through my first phase where I really, I had no other option but either to get out of this world and be gone or fix it. I fixed it and it was literally using the word no. Hey, let's go out. Let's go drink. Nah, bro, I'm good. I gotta go to the gym. Which is hard. Ah, bro, you're changing. Yeah, bro, I need to. (laughs) This is why I'm like this because I'm not changing. I'm drinking from Thursday all the way to Sunday. I'm not doing anything else. You're not stopping that cycle. I'm not stopping the cycle. I'm still, by the time I get home and I'm drunk, I'm still crying over this this thing and this person because I'm not acknowledging it. Months later, after everything I did, they that one person comes back and how can you how can you do this? Why are you so happy now? It's because I went I had to go through it already. And see, that's the thing is like you're trying. There's people out there like they're praying on your downfall. You know, it's Ooh. like that energy. It it comes back to you whether you like yeah. you may not even know that this person is wishing. Like, and my mom always says like, no digas lo que estás a, like what you're working on. You know, like don't say anything. Just work yeah. in silence. And it's like fuck. It's so hard though because you want to tell people like yeah. I'm working. Like I know when I was doing my podcast, I was like. I don't want nobody to know because you know as soon as i say it there's people like they're quick to just be like nah she can't do it and they're still you know? there like yes yeah, so and they're still like, like they're those people and i'm gonna tell you this from you know just not even being a year older in the podcast realm is this couple months is no matter what we do there's still people out there that's gonna look down look at you for your downfall mm-hmm. stay in tune with you for your to look at your downfall only for that so even when you're succeeding, they're like, oh, great job, great job. That's not going to last. Mm-hmm. And I've seen work. a lot of that, I feel. And, like, that was my last podcast, too. I was saying how, like, you gotta, you can't wait for people to clap for you. You know, you can't wait for people to be, like, you know. To, and luckily, and I, I still say thank you to, you know, I had my two friends who were like, dude, just go for it. Like, yeah. they know most, you know, a lot of my story and a lot of what I've been through. And they're like, yeah. you need to speak about, you know, your traumas and, like, what you've been through. Yeah. And so that's what my last podcast was about was just, like, just do it because no one's going to tell, no one's going to wake you up in the morning and be like, Hey, it's time to do your podcast today. You know, like, and and you know that too. Like, you know, so it's like, no one, you got to do it while no one's clapping. Literally. And you, you need to just like, I tell my compadre and like, bro, like, have you ever just patted yourself on the back? Mm -hmm. said, look at how far you came already. Yeah. A lot of times we want to like nitpick at the things that like we haven't done, you know? And it's like, When do you ever say, like, you know, and I saw a quote that said, um, remember um, or look at where you're at now and remember when you used to pray for those things, you know, and it's so true. Like, I remember last year, three years ago, I was like, man, I hope I could do a podcast one day. And it's like, have I even stopped, you know, have I even took a second to be like, damn, like my shit's on Apple, you know, like it's crazy to to actually see that because like. I think the other day I was uh, in the Mamalona (laughs) and I literally put Apple Podcasts or Spotify, and I just, I already have mine on there, but I just clicked on it to listen to it. And I just took a, I didn't even, I stopped listening to it, and I just took a time to just look at the screen. I was like. Look at your cover photo, like your cover I'm like, damn, what the fuck is going on? But, you know, speaking on that, like, and and I I don't want to give these people that clout, but the people that look at your story, don't even hit the follow button. Hold on. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, <laughs> don't even hit the follow button and i was just telling uh actually dylan's uh sister-in-law the other day was there's people that look at my story and i look at I, i'm one that i look through the story i go all the way to the bottom if you don't know this if you go all the way to the bottom it's the people that don't follow you mm-hmm. so what do i do i click on the profile and i hit the follow button myself <laughs> It's always those people, and I and that's like another topic on my podcast. I was like, man, there's people on there that when I put my podcast out, I was like, oh, I can't wait for this person to support me. Like when you know when they see me, and it was crickets. I got like the a lot of the support I got was from yeah. random people, and yeah. so I took my time out to like write them a paragraph because I'm like, man, like I never expected it from you, you know? Yeah. And it's like it's your close friends that you're like, damn, I know as soon as my podcast hits, like they're gonna be, be reposting my stuff, right? Yeah cricket like <laughs> i was like dang so like this was definitely a year of like you're getting pulled out of my circle you need to. you're getting and it's like cutting people off some people is like damn that's petty it's like no it really isn't because nah, they think it's petty you, because you're cutting them off <laughs> if you understand where it's like this is hard to do yeah there those like, people think it's petty because you're just cutting them out of your circle yeah. like bro you're in my circle and you don't want me to win and it's really not even out of spite because if i saw them you know if they needed something i because I got a big heart. Like, I would definitely, like, reach my hand out for them. So it's not even, like, a petty thing. 
It's just like you don't think that gets abused. You don't for sure. I have a big heart. Mm. <laughs> I have a big heart, and I still. I mean, like I'm not gonna change who. And I always said yeah. that my mom always said that like don't change who you are because of your past. It's like one day it's gonna come back around. You know, like you're a good person, and God is like blessing you in His own little ways. You know. Do you think adapting to it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very honest from where I was and obviously in high school to even three years after high school to last year until now, I am different. So I'm very easy to cut you off. I now, feel like I, oh, now, I cut off game and strong oh, right now. <laughs> I'll cut you off. Like if I know like if there's been disrespect, you disrespect me, my family, my friends that are family and whatever, or just being negative or talking shit behind my back. Mm-hmm. See you later, bro. I feel like my cutoff game definitely, like, after my podcast, I was like, sheesh, like, this kind of, I mean, it didn't even really hurt. I was just like, all right, I got to cut you off. I got to cut you off. And it's like, because I've been taken advantage of, for sure, you know, like, yeah. relationship-wise, friend-wise, everything, I feel like I'm always that person to, like, oh, it's your birthday? Let me decorate your room. Oh, it's, you know, like, I'm always the one to go, like, that extra mile. Yeah. So it's like, as soon as Ooh. I don't get that back, it's like... Yeah. You know, and some people are like, well, I didn't know you liked that or I what? didn't know you wanted that. But it's like, bro, nah. if I went the extra mile for you and I like decorated your whole room or I freaking like I support you, you know, if I'm Why can't you do that? Why can't we reciprocate that same and energy like, and a love? Sh- a share and a follow is free, you know, yes. and it's so yes, like bro. it's so easy. Like you're so quick to like support you know, these huge rappers that don't even give a fuck about you. They don't they know who care you less. are. You know, they it's like, less. you're monetizing them. How about you help a homie out, you know, really quick. Oh, they don't want you. You know, and, and it's like, and that's how you know those are the people, they don't want to see you win. You no. know, and it's because, and I get it, people are busy. Because I have a busy life, you know, like everybody's busy, but it's like. But to take two minutes, a que minute. Quiera, yeah, you know, el like. Que quiera what? El que quiera lo, el, <laughs> el que quiera lo va a ser, you know, like whoever really wants to do it and yeah. wants to sh- show you love, like I shouldn't have to tell you to show support. Yeah. You know, and so that's why when I, those few people that do repost my stuff and like seeing my cover art on Apple, you know, and like yeah. going back to that, it's like, it's crazy, you know? It, it's a different feeling when you know it's yours. Mm-hmm. It's a different feeling when you see your stuff getting reposted. Like we, I just literally ordered like six, seven hats and, you know, gave it to the brand new team that we got. And it's just crazy because now it's just like, fuck, bro, my shit's on a hat. Mm-hmm. I was going to go buy somebody else's hat. But and now shout I out to those just... who, like, wear it, you know? And, so like, yeah. Cindy doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't wear hats, but, you know, it's still the same, but same thing because how I tell them and I tell him, like, all right, whatever you guys are going to do, 100%, well, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. But it's just having that team and looking at big podcasts, big YouTube channels, big successful people, what's one thing they all have? A team. Mm-hmm. They have a team that's hard to rock alone for sure. Oh, you I can... feel like that's where I'm at, right? I mean, like luckily, like I said, I had my two friends that like, you yeah. know, they they pushed me to get there, and it's now, it like you know, they they were like, let's go, and after that, like now I got to figure it out by myself. Where what twenty two? Damn, that's that's for you, man. Yeah, no, be, I'll I say this because my uncle told me you can only do you can do everything in the world by yourself, and you did great. Imagine that times three. Mm-hmm. It's like, what? He's like, you have to learn how to kind of let go and just manage. Mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck, you're right. You're right. That's I want, where, yeah, that's you know what I'm at mean? now. It's like, fuck, okay, uh, I got to learn this shit by myself. Like, they taught me the ropes, you know? They taught yeah. me, like, how to do my first episode. And then after that, it was like, all right. So what about, like, your um, Liberty, you know? it's your, like, your friend group? You know, how, if we're going to talk a little bit of Smash, I love that you brought it up. Dime con, con quien estás, te dije Mm-hmm. Have you been told that by your parents? My mom tells me that yeah. all the time. I mean, your I don't, friends drink, don't be there. Fuck. I can't say that I am because I think my cutout, like I said, my cutout game is strong. I feel like I don't tolerate things. I could, you know, back then used to be like, yeah, this is my best thing. That's my best thing. That's my best, you know. Yeah. And like that's a word that we use so loosely, you know. Like we use friends so loosely. It's like you got to learn to say like, yeah, that's my acquaintance, you know. Like or that's you that's know. somebody I know. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like I'm at this time right now where i can't really say i got like a real real friend of course i got my girls who like i know from like kindergarten or you know but it's like who's there for me like checking up on me who's there like hey you know what like how can we put your podcast to the next level or how can we do this i don't have nobody checking on Uh, me you know it's and it's like it's a blessing in disguise in my opinion because how we go in high school, we know everybody, and this is just transitioning. I have years from high school anyway. Um, we know everybody, we feel everybody's gonna be our, our best friend until we die, and blah, blah, blah. 
high school comes, you graduate, no one hits up, no one hits you up anymore. Mm-hmm. It's a, oh yeah, we should hang out soon, and they never see you. Or if you run into them at the gym, and dude, we should go get a bite together. You'll never see them yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, hit you up. <laughs> or we should go work out together, Hong Kong say, and they never do it again, <laughs> or they never even come to it. Yeah. And it's like, all right, I need you guys to understand that right now you guys are trying to impress people that would not be in your life for even 10 years from now, mm-hmm. even five years from now. They don't even give a shit, but you want to hang on and show that love when they're not reciprocating it the way you are. And it's tough because you, it's like breaking up with a boyfriend or girlfriend. You're letting it go of that sure friend. Is, yeah. But it's like, look, this is what's best for me. Especially when it's your friends that like you go out with, you know. Ooh. And it's like, so, oh, damn, what am I going to do now? Well, now you're not going to be going to bars. Now you're going to get on your shit. And not- I feel like that's where I'm at. Like, <laughs> after, like I was going out a lot, yeah. drinking, drinking, drinking. Let's try a new bar. Let's do this. Let's do that. You know, and now I'm like, oh, damn, I kind of miss that. But I don't because now I'm like, if I would have still been going out yeah. and been living like every night, like. Ah, fuck it, you know, like I'm living life, yeah. which is cool. That's but I, like, what are you doing the next day once you come back from the bar? Is like, are you working? And that's why I feel like I've just been like, fucking, it's like tunnel vision right now, and like it sucks because it gets lonely and it gets like. It what's that phrase? It gets lonely at the top. No, it, it's um, dang, right? I know, I just saw it this morning too. Some shit like that. I think. It's okay if it's lonely at the top because it was lonely at the bottom too. Ooh. Yeah. I think that's what it was. <laughs> God damn. And yeah. I mean, like, it's true. And then, like, but yes and no, though, because once you get to the top, everybody starts like, Oh, everybody hey, comes back. Everybody's hey, like, bestie. <laughs> yeah, every, everybody comes back and everybody's like, dude, I believed in you since day one. I supported you. It's like, no, you didn't. No, and I can't sit here and say I don't have support because I do have, you know, yeah. I have a lot of people who, like, they do support, like, you know, behind, you know. Like, they'll post, you know. So, yeah. I can't say that I have no support, but it's cool to have those, like, your friends, like, your circle, your people. Because, yeah. I mean, we come, you know, we're Latinos. My mom doesn't know what the fuck a podcast is, you know. So, yeah. she, yeah, of course, she supports, but she doesn't know what she's supporting. Yeah. She's like, tu echale, mija. You know, like. <laughs> Hold on. Give it to Jose. Picasso, homie. Picasso. Answer it really quick. Um, yeah, my, my, mom, my mom is the same way, and, and she'll repeat it, and she'll tell me again, like, look at who you have. And I'm a big person of, I got to look at who's sitting at the same table as, as me. Am I comfortable? Do I trust these people? Do I love these people? And do they love me back? And before the whole change, my change, I couldn't say that. I couldn't say I love everybody at that table. And I honestly could say they don't love me at, at that same. Like, I could tell you the same table I sit at sometimes because we just need to. There's people on that table that just don't like me or my team. Mm-hmm. They don't. They just. They just know how to stand this. There's those people that are e- eating off your plate. They're not eating with you. They're just eating off of your nah, plate. Like. These fools don't want. And it's it's crazy because you know not. Again, they might be going through their own shit. They might be missing something. They might be failing in some part of their life. And it's like, all right, cool, bro. I hope you figure that out. I love you. But I'm gonna go this way. That's I feel that too because I feel like I'm like oh am I being too harsh because yeah. maybe that person was busy when I, you know the day my podcast released. Yeah. But then like you got to keep watching and watching is like damn. You got to keep still. going and you got to see who's there. You so. know, and you, like you give it. To, I'm not one that like oh you didn't support me by, but it's like I'm gonna see like you didn't support me the first time. Cool. All right, let's see. You know, like just hang on. And after a while, it's like all right, you know, or like yeah. now you're getting cut. <laughs> gotta kind of all right. Let's stay ready so you never have to get ready. Hey. 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 <laughs> all right. So, growing up, how Jeez. was, what was the point of your life where it changed? For the good or for the bad? Nah, <laughs> give me both, for the good and bad. I'm like, damn, because it started off bad. The I good mean, and I bad. Have, yeah, like I said, I mean, I have, I have stories, like, you know, everybody knows, like, yeah, that girl has some crazy ass stories. Um, dang. <laughs> All right, for <laughs> like, the- where do I where did where at what point um, did your life change for like the bad like you you got into one of the worst spots um well i grew up with a uh, very my dad was an alcoholic and he was very he was an abusive father so i always like my whole childhood was like fucked you know yeah um and then my mom she thank god now she's a citizen back then she was an immigrant so like when my dad left she was like, damn, what do I got? You know, yeah, what, what I, am I going to do now? Yeah. Because my mom came here in 90, I might be wrong with the dates, like 96. And she met my dad. She, you know, she had me. And um, 
when my so my dad taught her everything she didn't know english she didn't yeah. know anything you know she didn't know anything she didn't know how to drive when he left us so well my dad was uh he was in jail for a lot of like my childhood so she had to figure shit out when he left so she had to learn how to drive against all odds yeah there we she go. had to learn how to drive. She had to learn how to speak English. You know, like she was carrying me on her back, yeah. taking me to school, and she had my sister in the front. Shit. You know, and then my sister, she got pregnant at a, at a young age. So my sister was 15 when she had her first kid. She's and so younger as, than you? She's 29. 29, yeah. okay. Yeah, so she's older than me. Um, so as we were figuring stuff out, then my sister got pregnant, and um, she, I mean, I love my babies now. You know, like now she's got four kids, and those are my babies. <laughs> um, but it was hard, like, back then, you know, looking back at it, like, it's cool to be, like, down. We really made it out, the, you know, made it out of that. All while, you know, my mom was still dealing with a lot of trauma and still. Um, made it out the gutter, bro. Still, yeah, obviously still she's going through it. But, um, yeah, most of my childhood was. And it was for the happy. Mess. <laughs> they, they shift over to the happiness. Like, for the, where, what, for the good, yeah. I think but recently. Mm. I think just, like, this year, for sure. Yeah. Um, um, last November, I was in the most depressed day I've ever been. Mm. Um, I went from weighing like 140 to like 115. So I was Shit. like malnutrida as hell, as my <laughs> mom says, you know, like. Come, mija, come. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I had got out of a out of a relationship and I was just, it just, I just spiraled. And I talk about that in my first episode of my podcast where Love it. I just spiraled and I was like, I don't want, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. I was not yeah. eating. I was not like working I'm, thank god we were you know going through that season <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah i'm like let's not even say it um yeah. i was going through that and so i was working from home Shit. i would open up my laptop clock in go back to sleep you know and that's for a lot of months it was like that so yeah. i want to say like august september, august september is when like i was like man i gotta flip this around you know yeah. like i gotta i gotta like i gotta do something you gotta take care of you <laughs> you know like so i feel like just recently i feel like now i can i can say like i'm genuinely happy you know what's, what's that phrase that just gets you that's that you remind you say it to yourself or you hear it from somebody else but um, it, i have it tatted and it's mm. uh strength is what we gain from the madness we survive um Dang. so i felt well i i want to say like that's right i feel like june is when i was like okay let's do this like summer's coming you know like it's all bright colors like it's yeah. you know everybody's happy like i want to be happy too and then um one of my friends passed away so that's why i got this tatted um so i feel like i was trying to do better and then my friend passed and so i went back down spiraled again and then i want to say like august september i was like all right like i deserve to be happy you know and like no one's yeah. gonna give that to you uh, so that's, that's you've gotta tough, like bro. you know they say like you want to be happy so then be it the, you know that, that is it's hard <clears throat> it's, it's hard to say like just do it but it really is just a matter of like uh, just be it you know like yeah wake up with intention oh wake up with intention for sure like you can't say you want to have a good day but you wake up in the morning and you're like fuck i don't want to do this shit you know i know we have we all have jobs we work jobs that we don't want to go to but it's like yeah make something out of it you know like you're there like what one thing that everybody has to remind themselves is like you really need to remember why you're there if you don't like where you're at, you got to change it. And for a lot of people, it's like, nah, I can't change it. It's, it, I got to go to work. Don't worry about it. It's like, bro, like, we are in California. There's Give yourself the pen back for that, for even, you know. You know? <laughs> there's millions of jobs. There's millions of job descriptions. You can do whatever the f fuck you want, mm -hmm. yet you don't want to change it. So really, whose fault is that? You for not wanting to go out and search for it or because it's not falling in your lap? Mm -hmm. But it's like, what have you done into that point where it's going to fall in your lap? A lot of us haven't done that. You know, um, I love what you just said. Like, you're waking up with a purpose. A lot of us forget about that. A lot of us wake up and you're just like, fuck, bro. I don't want to get up. I mm -hmm. want to stay in bed. But, and I, I always say it, remember your why. At some, at some point, you got to get tired of your own shit. <laughs> like, it comes to a point where you just got to, like, you got to, like, reflect and be like that. And I feel like a lot of people... I, I feel like, you know, this whole pandemic was a season for us to really, yeah. like for some, yeah, it, you know, it all messed us up mentally for sure. Like it was something crazy, yeah. but it's also like, look back and like, some people were like, hell yeah, I don't have to go to work. So then what were you doing at that time? You know, like, yeah. did you do anything? So it's like, everybody bought 1942s and glasses <laughs> suits and uh, we're going out spending on nothing but alcohol which it's just cool because and i mean if you look back like we could have racked up a lot of money over that you know like you're not we weren't able to go out so it's like and shit i gotta blame myself too i could have i should have been saving you know and it's yeah. like so it's like you gotta look back and be like did i do anything or did i really just waste those two years 
you know, yeah, it, or a year, whatever it was. It, everything in life, and I've, I've heard it from young, everything that's worth it takes time and it takes a, takes energy, bro. Mm-hmm. You have to invest. You have to be willing to sacrifice. Well, you've got, yeah, you've got to do your due diligence and, like, keep working towards it. You know, you can't yeah. just, like, if nothing, like, what is this? Um, nothing changes if nothing changes. It's, like, you got to do some kind of change. You can't, you, don't, you can't just, like, go through life thinking, like, oh, one day I'll be good. It's, like. They call it insanity, right? When you do one thing and it doesn't work and then you keep doing that same thing and it's still, we're thinking there will be a different outcome and there's not. It's, like, bro, <laughs> change something no one's um, gonna call you out on your bluff you gotta do it yourself nah and and it goes back to like how we said like the people that don't or are praying on your downfall like those people would just keep keep saying it keep bringing that up but no one's like no one's ever gonna ask you like hey like are you good mm-hmm. are you okay and i'm a big person on hugs like i'm gonna hug you so i can feel your energy mm-hmm. You know, when people give you those side hugs, Jose? They do. Yeah, they give you the little side hugs. Like, your energy is whack, bro. Yeah, <laughs> We're, yeah. We ain't there. But it's just like, you know, um, you brought it up, losing a friend. That was one of my things is, and I just, I put it out this the other day, and it's hug and tell your people that you love that you love them. I saw that. Yeah, that really it's Because awesome. when that day comes, you don't want to be the one that I should have, I could have. Because trust me, we've all been there. Um, those and it are, I mean, it's so cliche, but it really does happen unexpectedly. You yeah, know? your life changes. And, um, you know, going on a happy note is this, who you, who you come around and who changes your life for the best are the ones that, at the end of the day, to me, I always tell them, bro, I'm forever in your debt. You help me, you help my life change, I'm forever in your debt. And whatever I do, when it pays off, you'll get part of it. I feel that for sure. I have like... Like, the person I told you that, like, you know, stemmed me to start my podcast, I feel like, man, like, I mean, we could do things by, by ourselves, you know? Like, you know, yeah. I know that I, I would have started my podcast eventually, but, like, yeah. shout out to Nine. And he, he's the one that helped me, like, really just say, like, dude, do it. Like, you have a voice, you know, you have to just go for it. So, it's like, yeah. you got to keep those people around. Like you said, yeah, it's kind of like a debt, you know? Like Oh, big time. And that's where, like... um you know, they come up, they come about, um, my family members, everybody is like, all right, when it all comes about, <laughs> I'm going to give you a Rolex. I'm going to give you this and that, and whatever the case is, or I'm going to give you that support that you gave me. Mm-hmm. Biggest thing is well, how they say money isn't everything, but it brings comfort, but it's about the energy, about the love that you have around you. What you're doing behind it. Like, correct. Do you really love this person that's in your circle? Would you give your life for them? I'm I'm very extreme. Like, I'll die for you mm-hmm. if I need to. It is what it is. But just know I love you. And that to that point, I'm riding and with you. And that says a lot. Yeah, yeah. That says a lot. Yeah, like, I'm I'm riding with you. So there's those people that, like, they'll say they support you. But, like, in a room, you know, they say, like, in a room full of people, would they mention you if, the, if an opportunity came up? Oh, uh, not at all. And it's, like, if, that's, a, like, a, a hardcore question. Cause yeah. Because, like, you sit back and you're, like, damn. Like, now they wouldn't. Yeah. You know? N- like, no, especially, like, again, going off. Going back to cutting off people, you have to be willing to give to give those people up. Mm-hmm. Change your your friends. Change your 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 scenery. And it's okay too, because I feel like a lot of people they take it like you know too hard, and it's yeah. like now you outgrow people. You nah, know, like you they outgrow don't. so many people, and it's not even yeah. out of pettiness. It's just like you know, like and, and that's like what people you know you unfollow people. It's like you just you're not feeding into what my purpose is. You yeah. know, like you're not feeding into my purpose. It's like. You know, respectfully, literally, like not even, you know, trying to sugarcoat it. Respectfully, like, I'm going to just cut you off. Like, you yeah. know, and it's like, that's not a bad thing. You What's outgrow, that I say? Like, if you outgrow sh- so many people. If the shoe fucking fits, wear it, homie. Mm-hmm. Like, it is what it is. If you fall in that category, hey, you do whatever you need to do. I got to go and stay in my lane and I got to figure out my lane. Y que te vaya bien, que Dios te bendiga. Y que tenga tu madre. You're like, no, 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 que chingas tu madre. Yeah. No, wait, don't, don't, bring, don't bring up Canelo. You know, that's what they told him I and he it. knocked that fool out. She was wild. <laughs> uh, someone said it on, again, on the, on what we posted yesterday. They said, are holidays important? Weird question, but I don't bring sense, it up. In what sense? Because I know you asked them, like, in what? Yeah, I don't. I honest, I haven't even looked at my phone, but they never replied. But do you have a favorite holiday? Um, I think a lo- like because holidays weren't like they were so missed because we didn't, uh, you know, yeah. I didn't have like a, I didn't have that kind of family, and that's why I, like yeah. I mean, off topic, and we'll get back on that. But like elephants are my favorite animal because you know they represent like family and like 
a group of people. So it's what, like, even what's though I sign? didn't have, I'm a Libra. Libra. Yeah. What's a Libra? We're the balancers. We're ah. The, we're the <laughs> 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 but I feel like I'm just like, I need like my people, you know? And it's like, yeah. so holidays for me, like when I was little, my dad used to like go all out. And so mm. once he left, we were like, dang, my mom didn't know how to cook a dinner and, you know, do all that Christmas stuff. So yeah. I feel like now holidays are super important for me. Like, I want to make everybody, like, I go all out for my nephews. I make sure that they so have. So what is, is it like a birthday? Is it a Christmas? <sighs> Thanksgiving for the food? I want to say I love birthdays. Like, when my friend's birthdays, I go all out. Like, I want to make sure you feel special on your day. So, yeah. like, when that doesn't happen for me, I'm like, fuck you guys. You know, but I feel like that, uh, for sure, birthdays and then Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. It's something that my fun. dad like. Yeah. Are you a turkey person? I am. I, I, I'm a turkey person. I do not like turkeys at all. I don't really eat red meat, so <laughs> I do sometimes. But I think. You, let's talk about your journey, bro. Your gym journey. She's a sumo Sheesh. lifter, bro. <laughs> she pulls sumo. Fuck conventional. I'm just kidding. But luckily, I, I mean, now I just hurt. I just recovered from a back injury. I had a herniated disc. So. My my boy my boy here he's a he's a great trainer. <laughs> He'll show you how to lift both. You know, he might look let's like go. he's. I'm about to go to the gym after this. <laughs> I think he's the only short guy that I know, personally, that lives almost 500 pounds. Oh, shit. Deadlift. No, uh, squat. 505 oh, five squat on squat. Or... Squat. Uh-huh. That's crazy. That's like 10 times his weight. Yeah, yeah. That boy's skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but he's one of them that has, you can tell the passion. Mm. The passion and his gift and is to teach, to, to dominate. So... I want to get into like yours because you post your journey on the gym. I'm like, yeah, Jesus that's Christ. That's basically all I post is like gym, pretty we got shot. Um, I'm actually a certified personal trainer. Um, I tried to. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> I got certified <laughs> back in Feb. I paid for it over the pandemic. Um, yeah. And I was like, well, let me do something. So I was studying for it. Um, my ex was also, we were st- like studying for it together. Yeah. Um, and then February, I was like, all right, like, let me do this. You know, like, let me do this. So I got my certification tried it out and I because mentally was not there I felt like I couldn't train people while I was going through like Mm. you know like and I heard you like talking about that before like are you filling your cup before others and I felt like personal training was just not it for me so I'm certified in personal training and nutrition and so I still do like nutrition plans for people um because it doesn't it doesn't take that much like me having to like you know i was just like what's your weight what's your this yeah they check in with me every day these are my meals but personal training is like you got to get up and take care of somebody else and make sure they're good and it's like physically you got to be there you know so it's like i was showing up and it wasn't what i wanted to Uh, do you know like like i tell people because when i was really just really really invested into the gym they were like oh why don't you train i'm like nah bro (laughs) there's a difference between me going to the gym and then me training you, mm-hmm. like right now coaching, I'll put it 130% into there. I live it. I feel for it. Everything. But gym-wise, I'm like, bro, this is my escape. <laughs> Don't fucking bother me That's here. I, too. I felt like, damn, how am I going to – and same thing with my podcast. But I was like, with this, I'm not making excuses. But it's yeah. like it's hard to, like, give people advice and tell people, you know, like – to, and not follow it yourself. And yeah, and not follow it. So that's why I felt like I was with uh, being a uh, trainer. I was like, oh, like I have to show up for other yeah. people when I'm really. So not how do we feel about myself. that industry? About some people that <sighs> that's another thing. That's another thing too. Is some like, people that come into the industry without the certification or a knowledge. Everybody's trainer nowadays. You know, like everybody yeah. and a lot of them like without certifications, which. You, there's those people that like they're not certified, but they know they're. Sh- I've met we so many people. people. We know people. I've met so many people that like they're not certified, but can they put you through a workout? Hell yeah! But it's like there's other people that they're just like for the gram, Armis, right? <laughs> Armis. Oh. Yeah, it's just like for the gram, you know. And it's like you. There's so many people on Instagram. All these girls, it's, and it's like they're all. Every girl you p- click on is a personal trainer. Like every girl you click on her page, and what because. She was yeah. blessed, and uh, I mean, kudos. I wish I had a natural, like you know. But like, there's those girls. It's yeah. like I have a big ass, so I'm a personal trainer now. Nah, you know, they, it's like they just, the we, fitness we've industry about is about wild. Like, yeah, we talk like they post angles, guys that have a six pack. They could be trained, whatever it is. But no one posts like the ugly parts, mm-hmm. the ugly faces you make when you lift, the normalization that girls can lift strong. Mm-hmm. Normalization, like I've gotten guys at the gym, like, bro, why do you lift that much? I'm like. Cause I want to. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that you're gonna have suffer a lot of pain when you get older. I'm like, so what? <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Like everybody has their, but it. I always tell people like, when you go in there, 
And I've caught myself crying in the gym. I'm like, the gym is more than just the weights, bro. It's a mental, emotional, and physical Mm -hmm. therapy. For sure. You're going to feel it after. You're going to go through it. You're going to have mixed emotions. When you're injured and you can't go out there and lift what you want to lift. That was me. When I injured my back, I was like... Oh, Sandy. Now I'm like lifting smarter. Emotional roller coaster when we. Because like I was. Wait, you you compete? Oh, okay. Powerlifter. Dang. Okay. Telling you, telling you these people, but uh. Yeah, I was. I mean, I my dumbass was like eagle lifting. That's how I hurt my back. But now it's like no hell no. I'm like I'm gonna lift smarter, not harder. Yeah. Now like my back feels obviously better, but it's like yeah, a lot of people just do it for the gram. So your purpose with personal training, are you going to go back to that? I think I want to, like, if, I, I, do, I think I want to, but I want to go to school for it, for sure. Like, I want to get my degree in kinesiology. Like, mm. I don't want to, a certification, anybody could get it. I could put my mom through the certification and she can get it. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and, like, it's not hard. Yeah. You know, like, I know people that just took the test. They didn't even study, you know? Like, yeah. that's how, e- like, it, it can be easy depending who you're certified with. But I think eventually I'll go back to it. Um, it just, it takes a lot. People think that you just, like, you know, you train your friends and like you make a business. Like, nah, you gotta go out there. You gotta find people who right. are actually gonna pay. Cause when it comes to that too, like your friends are gonna be the first ones to be like, hey, train me. For free. For 20 bucks. Like, what? <laughs> it's like, it, like, you have to realize that it's a business in itself. Like, it's, yeah. it, it's a hobby for a little bit until well, it goes you wanna... back to like what we talked about, about people supporting you. Like, say we take out a brand and we're gonna sell shirts for 25 bucks, you're gonna get your closest people. Hey, bro, shoot me one for 10. Shoot me one, yeah. Yeah, for free? Which, those are the people, and I always say, and I'm like that, like, with my nail girl, like, I always tip her, and, like, she yeah. just recently was like, I got you for your birthday set, and I'm like, hell no, I'm your friend, I'm supposed yeah. to support you more, and I'm it's like... For, I'm waiting for my barber to tell me that, <laughs> I got you for your birthday, I'm like, damn. No, it's like, if I'm putting out, if I'm putting out merch for 25, like, you better be paying 35, you know, your yeah. friends are the you ones feel that, that yeah. should be, I mean, yeah, everybody's got their hardships, you know, like, not everybody can afford that, for but sure. if you can support your friend, like, you gotta do double, you know, like, yeah. and I feel like if they're your friend, like if, like I said, they're, you're, they're selling a $25 shirt, shoot them 35 you know? Or, like, shoot them 25 and a share. Yeah. Or, you know, it's so simple to show support. Shameless plugs, bro. Like, you, how you said, it doesn't cost you anything to share it. It's free. It costs it 0.0. <laughs> 0.0. Literally, like, I think people text back within 30 seconds, like, or they, whatever it is, like, bro, you're, we're on our phone. And if we look at the time sheet on your phone, you have, like, 10, 15 hours mm-hmm. a week Screen on your time. phone. time. <laughs> Yeah, I got kind of, I got, I got yelled at. I was like, bro, what's your screen time? I was like, oh, about 12 hours. What the I, f- I mean, I'm always on my phone too, but I feel like, I mean, I got podcasts running all day, but I'm also just like, I'm sure you're just looking for motivation all the time because it's yeah. hard to sit here and like, you know, with me for sure, like my podcast is a solo podcast, you know? So yeah. it's just me and me. Well, that's like, like, you know, it's like me and me. So it's like, I got to find motivation to, you know, want to keep well, talking. We ourselves topics. have to be stay motivated to keep going mm-hmm. because a lot of people don't understand that you can post a thousand dollars and we may feel like we're a dollar. Mm-hmm. We can post that we are at the top of the world, yet we feel like we're at the bottom of the world. And it's like we ourselves, just because we're out on social media, we're nothing big yet, yet. We still... Sometimes we're just showing up because we got to, you know? like We got no option. With, when it's social media, you got to be so consistent. Yeah. Like, it, the, the consistency on, on there is crazy. Like, you just got to keep showing up, like, even on your bad days. And I like to share, you know, because I post a lot of, like, my gym stuff, but there is times where I'm like, all right, let me be vulnerable real quick, you know, and show the real, like, today I'm yeah. not feeling it, you know? Like, I don't want to go to the gym. Yeah. Like, the gym, I mean, the gym is always my sanctuary. Like, it's always where I want to be, but it's like, yeah, I like to go, but it's like getting myself there. Oh, you know, once I'm there, like, I'm going ham, you know? Oh, but, that's what I tell people. It's like, oh, it's so hard for me to go to the gym. Get your car. Put the GPS. Take it. Take it there. Once you're there, you got no and option. And there's bro. not a workout that I've regretted, you know? Like, and I always tell no. people that, like, when they don't want to go to the gym, it's like, dude, you're going to regret not going. Yeah. Some, like, someone told me there's no such thing as a bad workout because you at least made it there and you worked out. Mm-hmm. Imagine you not doing that and doing something else. Right. So it goes back to, like, we talked about, I think it was earlier, um, when you break up. People want you to go out and drink, go out and party, forget that fool, forget that girl, blah, blah, blah. It's like, why can't we do something positive? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, the drinking is cool and we'll have fun, but I'm going to be crying at the end of the night. Yeah, right. Call, and and are you going to be there tying my hair? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, be so calling funny. her fucking when in the morning. I miss you. Come over. Can I go see you? Can I fix it? 
Yeah, no it, one's there like at you know the dark times. They're just there like, hey, like let's just go, let's go drink. But it's like, are you gonna be there yeah. when I'm back at home crying, they, throwing up, sad? You know, people won't. They don't see when, that. and I remember this. Like people will not be there when it is dark. They would tell you go with your family. Mm-hmm. Let them help you. Like, all right, I'll remember that part, bro. It's like, bro, I don't know. My family, <laughs> yeah, my family's like, they don't get it. Nah, I think now, like, with the whole movement, podcast, everything, like, my mom and them are understanding. And it's just more about of a, all right, hey, are you okay? I'm like, hey, you know what? No, but I'm going. It's working. It's still working. It's like, hey, you need to take a break. But it's how like you said, like, fuck, if I take a break. You got to keep that momentum going. Uh, yes, that's why, like, I told... When we set this up, I told her, I was like, hey, we're going, we're going to podcast. And then she was like, oh, I can get somebody else. I was like, fuck it. Once you start, it's, it, it's ga- like game time, you know? And it's like, well, oh, my we- podcast, I released it September 27th. And I didn't put out the second epi- episode till a whole month later. Because yeah. I put it out and I was yeah. like, all right. Yeah. Like, we'll go, what happens now? You know, it's like now you got to yeah. really just push yourself to do it every week. And it's yeah, like, it changed for us too because when we're at the, at the colony at the lakes, it was the same way every Friday, every Friday night, like at 12 a.m., we're fucking doing it. So 3 a.m., 4 a.m., we're, we're done. The next day, go to work, we'll go do whatever we got to do. Next Friday, same thing. Again. Mm-hmm. So we went, shit, I think it was like 20 something episodes, 20 weeks straight, just uh, pumping them. And then we moved everything and it took a little break. The whole switching scenarios, it's been a little bit of a toll, but it was like, no, we need to go back to it. Yeah, as We're soon as you, like, that up. momentum stops, it's hard to, like, get back on. But once you do, it's like, yeah, you just that, let's go, you know? You that's why I said it. Like, if I'm going to take a break, it's just to rearrange the move and I need to look at something else where I can, boom, bring it back up. You got to learn to adapt, for sure. Mm. Like, adaptation is a huge thing. Yeah. So, what... What could we be looking at for your journey within the next year? Like, what's your plan? What's your purpose? What's your view? Um, well, merch is coming out. I guess. I see. Yeah. <laughs> and you actually motivated me too. I, I saw see. your hats, and I was like, hell yeah! You know, like, like I should be doing that too. Yeah. Like, you know, why? You know, what am I? And that's the thing too. I ask myself, like, all right, so the podcast is starting. Yeah. Now what? You know, like now I want to fi- actually find people who are going through the same things and hey let's have a converse like a real conversation about it you know and i have one of my girls celeste and that i already told her i was she told me like congratulated me and everything my podcast and i'm like all right but i need to get you on here yeah i was like i'm gonna give you three topics you know and like we're gonna just choose one and go for it so yeah um i get my sweaters tomorrow well, i get my sweater the sample tomorrow um yes. so merch is coming out and then um i don't know man my big my big big goal is to just have a crowd for sure like i want to just have a crowd i want to do like a little seminar so like a mental health seminar is something that like has oh, been in my cool. mind. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just don't want to be doing it like just behind a, you know, microphone, not showing my face. So yeah. um, I think if I have to say like from a year from today, for sure, my YouTube channel will be out um, and just getting more like comfortable with the camera because I mean, it's hard to be vulnerable already. Like, I'm, like with my microphone. Yeah. I mean, you guys saw I freaked out in the beginning. You guys missed it. The first like two minutes, she was like, uh, he asked I don't me my know podcast name and I'm like. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we went so, blank for a little bit but we we rebounded we were good i think for sure like just being comfortable and that comes i mean that's like self-love too just like uh being comfortable with being in front of a camera Cause sometimes i mean most times i'm, it's like, tough. I'm not trying to you know, i'm always hiding from the camera that is why so, we have special water in our cup because <laughs> that was that's there for me that's what it that's what it was it was a uh, getting out of the comfort zone and again the alcohol isn't too just get drunk and have fun, which is really fun, obviously, when you're around your great people, great vibes. When you got good vibes. When you have great vibes and you don't get violent at the end. <laughs> you're not like, like rushing each At the Mexican parties when your me tios is, is fighting with my other tío and blah, blah, blah. You see coronas fucking being thrown <laughs> from one end to the other. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's it's to get out of your shell. And I'm not saying we're getting here to get drunk because we're not even near close, but it's, all right, I, I got a little booster. Like, I something i got a giddy up yeah i, I feel, think a lot I feel a little better. I, it's just like me worrying about it's all outside sources that we're worried about all the time you know it's like yeah. and for me it's like just do it and i said that in my last podcast is like just do it like fuck whatever what everybody else is gonna say because people are always gonna have something to say but it's like if it's making you happy yeah then so be it just you know like it. why are we so why are, why are we so worried about making other people happy then like you gotta make you yourself benefit. happy you don't benefit from it you know yeah so do you want a last shot or are you gonna go to the gym? Or you want a shot with your with what? With your uh caffeine. Oh, I'm gonna take another of your special <laughs> water and then 
my caffeine. <laughs> there's only water. There's no more. There's no more left. Uh, right? No <laughs> more. There's no more left. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. You know I got to do it for the ground. <laughs> it's special occasions, right? We're celebrating Cindy's birthday today and Jose's birthday. Oh, what? That's why. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jose is turning from 22. He's turning 28. So... And Dylan, birthday coming next week already, finally. I'm just kidding. All right, We're way out. number two, a toast to life. A toast to life, another episode. Tune in.